living Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a privilege to be in the presence once again this evening. We appreciate the Almighty God that has given us the grace to still be in the land of the living. We thank Him. There's so many things so that happen all over around us, but God has been faithful. He has been keeping us alive. All members of our family, entire household, friends. Let's just thank God for everything He has been doing for us. Let's magnify His holy name. He's the King of Kings. Is the Lord of Lords, is the Almighty God. That we come before you this evening and we worship you. We adore your majesty. We bow before you this evening. We worship you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Brethren, it's good to see your, your faces once again this evening. And I pray that God will meet us according to our needs in the name of Jesus. Amen. That Come to meet the King of Kings and not a mean man. And I pray that you are going to see our God this evening mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Let's wave our beautiful hands to the King of Kings. Let's just begin to wave those beautiful hands to the Lord. He has given us those two hands. Let's just worship Him. Let's magnify His holy name. Let's beautify His holy name. Let's call Him those beautiful names. Is the King of Kings, is the Almighty God, the ever faithful Father, the Almighty. It's not because we are better than those people that they have gone or they are dead, but because He is faithful, but because we receive the grace of God, because our God is merciful. Let's just say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Sing from the depth of your heart and utter those good words unto Him. Like a son, we go to His Father. And he said, thank you, Daddy, for what you have done. Daddy, we thank you this evening. We bless your holy name, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's thank God. Let's worship God with this song. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. In our homes, thank you, thank you, Lord. In our church, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Bible says, give thanks to the Lord for his good and his love endures forever. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We can't thank you enough. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Then let's go before our maker and ask for the forgiveness of all our sins. Let's ask him to forgive us from all our sins, from all our secret faults, from all our shortcomings. Father, have mercy. The Bible says if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let's just go before him and say, Daddy, we come before you this evening. Have mercy. God, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Everywhere we have fell and come short of your glory. Father, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Mm -hmm. Let's begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Let's begin to plead the blood of Jesus upon us this evening, upon this meeting, upon everything we are going to do tonight, upon all our prayers. Let's just begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus. We plead your blood, the blood of your precious son that you shed on the cross of Calvary. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead your blood. 
We plead oh, your blood. Oh, In Jesus' name, Amen. we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let's take this prayer point. Oh God. Oh God. Let thy power. Let thy power. That parted the Red Sea. The parted the Red Sea. Come down powerfully. Come down powerfully. In today's meeting. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the power that parted the Red Sea come down powerfully in today's meeting. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your power that parted the Red Sea, let it come down powerfully in our meetings tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we want to see your power, that power as of old, that parted the Red Sea, let it come down powerfully in our midst this evening. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, every obstacle before Fire of Christ Ministry into opportunity that we advertise that we are your majesty your in majesty. the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, turn mm -hmm. every obstacle before Father Christ ministry into opportunity that we advertise your majesty in the order of the Red Sea in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, every, every obstacle let it be turned to opportunity that we advertise your majesty on this mountain, in the mighty name of Jesus, let every obstacle before this assembly, let it turn to opportunity that we advertise your majesty in this church, in the name of Jesus. But in Jesus' name, we are praying. We are going to pray the same prayer for ourselves. Oh Lord, turn every obstacle before me into opportunity that we advertise your majesty in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, turn every obstacle before me into an opportunity that we advertise your majesty in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Power of God, incubate tonight's service and let there be deliverance, healing, salvation, breakthrough, in the mighty name of Jesus, power of deliverance, power of God, incubate tonight's service. In the mighty name of Jesus, incubate tonight's meeting. Let your power incubate tonight's meeting. In the mighty name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we are praying. Every agenda of darkness against tonight's service will totally in the mighty name of Jesus. Every agenda of darkness against tonight's service will 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, As my I have Jesus. come to your presence to, 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 tonight, tonight, meet me accordingly. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, as I have come into your presence tonight, meet me accordingly. Meet me accordingly. Meet me, meet me, meet me, meet me. Meet me, meet me, meet me, meet me accordingly. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, as I have come before you, Lord, Father, In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As we go into our praise and worship, let's just open our hearts as we receive from God tonight through our worship in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Oh! 
Come 
to be in his presence once again this evening wherever you are or wherever you are connected to this program. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God shall surprise me, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I shall experience the hand of the God of Goshen, hallelujah. Hallelujah. After tonight, my life will not remain the same. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I shall not be a casualty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My Lord will supply all my needs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank God for your life. And thank yeah. God for connecting to this wonderful service. Please, if you have your children around you, kindly make sure they keep quiet during this service. And if you see that you are disturbing, kindly switch off your audio. And God will bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. For the benefit of those that are joining us today, those that were not with us on Sunday, the reason you could see people's faces that we decided to be releasing our video so that it will not be affecting our recording. If, we, if you have watched our video on YouTube, you will see that we have some blank uh, pages on the video it's because of those that are not releasing their videos. So if you are not prepared for tonight, you are joining us another day. Can you look for a very good place in your house and place your video here in front of yourself so that we can see your face or the faces of the people in your household. So that we, yes, you are, you, are, you are in the presence of your father. Because if you go to a normal church, you can become a layer. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Little girl, from the bottom of your heart, sing this song. Blessed be the name of the Lord. To be prayed and adored. So we lift up holy hands. He wanna go. He bless and be the name. Hallelujah. Bless and be the name. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name of the Lord. Blessed be your name of the Lord. Of the Lord who is worthy to be praised and adored. And adore, so we lift up holy hands. He wanna come. He blessed in the name. Hallelujah, blessed. Hallelujah, blessed in the name of the Lord. Worthy. You are worthy, King of kings, Lord of Lord. You are worthy, worthy. 
service and you were not with us on Sunday. I told the people online on Sunday what the Lord invited to somebody. Please. The Lord said to somebody that he is the one that is causing all these things. And the reason is that they want to bring people back to him individually, not collectively, not as a family and not as a church. That he is the one that is causing all these things so that people can return back unto him. Beloved, and another thing he said is this to the person that gave me that revelation. Because if somebody that I know God is talking to him. He said, the old man said to me that revelation, that you should tell the people that any prayer, any one of us pray during this lockdown, that he is attentive and is ready to answer those prayers. And I told people on Sunday, this is not time to be thinking. And this is not time to be wasting your time. This is the time you can invest more prayers. Because the old man said, all the prayer pray during this time, this period, that God himself said is ready to answer this prayer. Is ready to answer this prayer. So any opportunity you have, and any available time you have, use those time to pray instead of wasting it. Beloved, you will see what will happen to the people of God after this pandemic. Because the people of God will come out shining by good. I've been saying it, and I will continue to say it. Beloved, before you sit down, 
Because we are here to look at God of Goshen again. This is going to be the fourth week. And if Jesus studies it is coming, we still continue. It's a series. Even if the lockdown is removed, or there's no more lockdown, the church of God will still continue. And those that are still available will still continue to join us. Thank God for those that are joining us from America, from Nigeria, from all over the world. This is no more fire of faith Christ ministry affair. This is a global affair now. Because we, people are connected to this program all over the world. And we are believing God very soon. We are going to be having thousands of people online. But before you sit down tonight, pray this three prayer point, And you will decree loud and clear. Say, where is the Lord God of Goshen? Arise and suppress me tonight. In the name of Jesus, where is the Lord God of Goshen? Surprise me tonight. Surprise me. Surprise me. Surprise me. Surprise me. Surprise me. Surprise me. Where is the Lord God of Goshen? Arise and surprise me. Surprise me. Surprise me. Surprise me. Surprise me. Surprise me. Where is the Lord God of Goshen? Arise and surprise me. In the name of Jesus, surprise me. Surprise me. Surprise me. Surprise me. Surprise me. In the name of Jesus, where is the Lord God of Goshen? Arise and surprise me tonight. Surprise me. Surprise me. In Jesus' name, we are afraid. Amen. I shall not live here tonight. Until I experience the hand of Lord God of Goshen, the hand of Lord God of Goshen, in the name of Jesus, I shall not leave here tonight. Until the Lord of Goshen touch me. I shall not leave here. The Lord of Goshen shall touch me tonight. I shall not leave. All the experience is done. All the experience is done. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. The Lord said there's somebody in this program. This morning, you just started feeling this sickness in your body. And you began to say, ah, what they are talking about. Have I also contacted it? The Lord said the first thing to tell you. That what you are going through is not, it has nothing to do with COVID 19. Yeah. Nice. Uh, uh, you know yourself. And the second thing he asked me to tell you that before you leave this program, you will see that sickness no more. Amen. Amen. Another person the Lord said, I should tell you the more you pray, the more they harass you in your dream. The more you pray, the more they harass you. The more you pray, the more they harass you. The Lord said, I should tell you. That all those harassment we do you no harm. Now the reason to allow that harassment is that it wants to build you up. Amen. That's the reason. So that you can become a soldier. Now all those harassment that you should throw them into the bin. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody you are in this program. You are wondering that we the God of this month is surprising. That you've been joining them. And it is the God of this one they're going to do something. The Lord said, I should tell you that very, very soon uh, you will receive answers to your, all your prayers. Amen. Pray the third one, beloved, before you sit down. And you will decree loud and clear like this The agent of the devil. Agent of the devil. Not saying the agents. Agent of the devil, sitting on the promises of God for my life. What do you think you are doing? What do you think you are doing? Turn my sword and be buried tonight. In the name of Jesus, 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 Jesus,
We want to appreciate you because you have been good unto us. Because as many that have been joining this program, you did not allow anyone to share evil testimony. Father, okay. for all you have done and for that which you continue to do, take all glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, we are here to learn from your faith again this evening. Open our eyes of understanding in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. At the end of today's service, we want to go back home rejoicing. Father, let it be so in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we appreciate you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 In Jesus God bless name. you. Have your seat and turn off your hobby now. Turn it off. Well, whenever I want you to read the Bible, whenever I call it, make sure you have your Google ready and make sure you have your Bible beside you. And let your video still remain open. And for those that are joining us today, if you are comfortable, you can release your video. We said it on Sunday, we don't want blank pages on our videos. If you watch the, the one on YouTube, you will see some blank pages. It's because of those that are not releasing their videos. And it wasn't their fault when we started, we asked people to be blocking their videos. But now we ask people to release it so that people can see it. Like we have branches all over the world. Thank God, Brother Femi, God bless you for joining us. Mama Ola Dokun from the United Kingdom, God bless you, Mommy. And everyone from Nigeria, God bless you. Everyone in the United Kingdom, God bless you. Sister Macaulay, God bless you. God bless all of you. Sister Lua Kemi Adepunle, God bless you. The Agbedus, God bless you. The Balugos uh, from Lagos, God bless all of you. The Ari, uh, Arika Uwez, the, the Allah Uwez, God bless all of you. 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 Beloved, we are continuing what we started four weeks ago. But tonight, I will not be talking much about what we've discussed before. If you've missed any of this teaching, you are allowed to go on the YouTube on our channel. If you don't have the link, just Google or, or search Fire of Faith Christ Ministry. You will see all the past messages there. So you can listen to what we've been discussing in the past week. And God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We've been discussing what we titled, Let God of Goshen Arise. And our Bible tells us, was taken from Genesis 45, 1 to 11. Genesis 47, 1 to 7. And Genesis 47, 27. We said God of Goshen is a special God that can do unusual things. We've discussed what is Goshen, and we've discussed where is spiritual Goshen. Let me just say that. Where is spiritual Goshen? We say, spiritual Goshen is a divine pastoral land where the Lord is our shepherd, according to Psalm 23. Spiritual Goshen is a divine pastoral land where the Lord is our shepherd, according to Psalm 23. And we've been looking at the attribute of God of Goshen, which will be taken every day. And by his grace, some people are saying, we need to turn this to a book. And there's a confirmation from three, four people that this ministry needs to write a book. So, oh, uh, uh, people in the house, Sister Kia, me, Sister Rika, we. So I'm going to give you an assignment very soon. So I know you're very busy. Out of your task schedule, you still need to do the work of God. You'll be doing it. And I know you will receive special anointing. You will join me too. So that all you'll be doing is to be sleeping one or two hours every day. Okay. I know you'll be laughing and saying, no, we don't have that anointing. So beloved, we've discussed the attributes of Lord of Goshen. The first one we discuss is the God of Goshen is a God of divine protection. And we discuss the second one, the God of Goshen is a God of divine provision. And last week we discussed that God of Goshen is a God of unusual deliverance. God of unusual deliverance. Tonight we are moving to number four. And by his grace, next week we discuss another one. And tonight we are going to be looking at the fourth attribute of God of Goshen, which is, is a God of promise fulfillment. God of Goshen is a God of promise for fulfillment. Make sure you have your Bible because I can call any name and I don't want you to waste, not my own time, but the time of people of God. That's why if you need Google, quickly put it very close to you. If you need your light, put your lights on. 
We are talking of God of Goshen. He's a God of promise fulfillment. He's a God of promise fulfillment. Beloved, we never have God promised to do something. Beloved, he's able to do it because he is not a human being. Now we say something and tomorrow he will repent and say, no, 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 no. I'm not going to do it again. No, God is not like that. Whenever he promised to do something, he will do it. He will do it. You see, he promised to deliver the Israelites even from the land of Egypt because is a country in a country. Or, it, or you can say, but when you read the Bible, they refer to it as a country. If you look at United Kingdom, we have four countries marked together. That's why they call it United Kingdom. If you look at United States of America, we have 50 countries marked together. And they are called them states. But they are, not, they are operating differently. It's only in our country, Nigeria, that they will be controlling the 30 states from the center. And they will, not, they will not allow them to have their own police. They will not allow them to do their own thing so that they can embezzle money. Even with all the Israelites are enjoying the land of Goshen, they are still punishing them. They are still afflicting them. And the Lord still said, look, enough of all this unnecessary thing. I'm going to deliver you. Let's open our Bible, beloved. Let's open our Bible. To the book of Exodus. I'll be reading from here. Book of Exodus. When it's time for you to read, we're looking at the fourth attribute of God of Goshen. We are looking at the attribute of God, God of Goshen. We are looking at the attribute. We are looking at it. You see, it's a God of promise fulfillment. It's a God of promise fulfillment. Exodus chapter 3. And I'll be reading from verse 1. Exodus chapter 3. I'll be reading from verse 1. From verse 1. And Bible says, Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law. The priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert, and came to the mountain of God, even to Oreb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire, out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire. And the bush was not consumed. The bush was not what? Consumed. The bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight. Why the bush is not born. Why the bush is not born. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, here am I. And he said, draw not near either. Put up their shoes from up their feet. For the place where thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of the Father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. Amen. Moses was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt. And I've heard their cry by reason of their tax master. For I know their sorrow. Beloved, whatever you are going through, our God knows about it. Whatever you are going through, beloved, God knows about what you are going through. He knows about it. And I'm believing God that very soon your whole Moses will appear in the name of Jesus. Then I continue. Say, I am, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of Egyptians. What is that? That is a promise of God for them. And to bring them up out of that land onto a good land and a large one. God promised to bring them out of the land of Egypt and to take them to their what? To their land of promise or promised land. I am praying for you that God will take you from that land you are, that you are not comfortable, to your promised land in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I am praying for you that God will take you even to your destination in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We are looking at, 
are the God of promise fulfillment. Promise fulfillment. Let's leave it there because of our time. Let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. Beloved, what is promise? What is promise? Number one, a promise is a declaration that something will or will not be done or given. A promise is a declaration that something will or will not be done or be given. Yes. God can say, I'm going to give you this. And if you are not ready for it, he will not give you. But when you are ready, he's ready to give you. What is promise, number two? What is promise? Promise is an, an express assurance on which expectation is to be based. An express assurance on which expectation is to be based. What is promise, beloved? Promise is indication of future excellence or achievement. Indication of future excellence or achievement. What is promise? Something that is promised. That is promised. Something that is promised. If I say, Brother Femi, tomorrow, I'm going to send you one million pounds. That is a promise. All you need to be doing is to be praying for me. That this man has promised me one million pounds. God provide for him. I know he's a pastor, and he will not lie. God provide for him. You are laughing. God bless you, sir. God can do it. God can do it. He's able to do it. If God, if God just surprised me tonight, and I receive, even if it is 100 million, I can give one out. It's not too much. One million, one, one million is just little out of 100. And God will bless us in Jesus' name. You may be thinking and say, what is it? Yes, we have people in Nigeria that are buying a land of 600 million, which is even more than 1 million pounds. And we that are here, we are still struggling to, go, to gather 10,000. But as many that are connected to this program, and you are under the sound of my voice, I declare by the decree of heaven that the backbone of poverty shall be broken in your life in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That thing that is telling you that you cannot make it shall disappear and you shall not see that spirit again in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because you are under the sound of my voice, the God that coming forth into the ministry shall surprise you and multiply your wealth in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, when you look at your Bible, we have promises of God there. And the promises of God in the Bible can be described as follow. So I can call anybody, beloved, and make sure you are ready. Make sure you are ready. Make sure you are ready. The promises of God in the Bible is described as, number one, never failing. Never failing. The promises of God in the Bible can never fail. It's described as something that can never fail. Uh, if it is Him that promised you, beloved, He will never fail. It is God that promised you. And the God of Goshen we're talking about, He promised to deliver them. Even with all the harassment of Pharaoh, with all they did to them, yes, He still delivered them at the end of the day. Can somebody open the Bible? Brother Femi Adelaja, you can put on your microphone, sir. You can put on your microphone. You can open to the book of Joshua. That will be the continuation of that place we read. Joshua 23. Brother Femi. I can't hear you, sir. What? Joshua, Joshua 23, from verse 5 to 15. Okay. Joshua, Joshua chapter 23, verse 5. And the Lord your God, he shall expect them from before you and uh -huh. drive them out of your sight. And you shall possess their land as the Lord your God had promised unto you. Be ye therefore very courageous to keep and do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, that ye turn not aside therefrom to the right hand or to the left, left, that ye come not among this nation, these that remain among you, 
neither make mention of their name of their gods, nor cause to swear by them, neither serve them, nor bow yourself unto them, but cleave unto the Lord your God, as he has done unto this day. For the Lord has driven them, driven out from before you, great nations and strong. But as for you, no man has been able to stand before you unto this day. To verse 9, sir. Continue to, to 15, sir. To 15. Okay. Verse 10 now. No man of you shall chase a thousand. For the Lord your God he Hold is. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Bible says just one of you shall chase what? A thousand. A thousand. A thousand. Continue, sir. One man of you shall chase a thousand. For the Lord mm -hmm. your God he is he that fighteth for you as he hath promised you. Take good heed therefore unto yourself that ye you love the Lord your God. Else, if ye do in any wise go back and cleave unto the remnant of these nations, even these that remain among you, I shall serve, I shall make marriage with them and go in unto them and they to you. Know for certainty that the Lord your God will no more drive out any of these nations from before you. But they shall be snares and traps unto you, and scourge in your side, and thorns in your eyes, until you perish from off this good land which the Lord your God has given you. And behold, this day I am going the way of all the earth, and you know in all your hearts and in all your soul that not one thing had failed of all the good things which the Lord your God speaks concerning you. Can you can you read that place again, sir? Can you read that place again? Verse 14. And behold, this day I am going the way of all the earth, and ye know in all your hearts and in all your soul that not one thing has failed not of all one, the good not things. One, not one. Not one. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Of all the good things which the Lord your God speak concerning you, all are all are come to pass unto you, and not one thing had failed thereof. Therefore, it shall come to pass that as all good things are come upon you, which the Lord your God promised you, so shall the Lord bring upon you all evil things until he has destroyed you from off this good land, which the Lord your God had given you. God bless you, sir. You can switch up your microphone. And look yes, sir. At, switch, switch up your head. And look at what they say. And behold, this day, I am going the way of all the health, and you know in all your health, and in all your soul, that not one thing had failed, of all good things with the Lord your God speak concerning you. I am praying for you that all the good things the Lord has said about you, none will miss its target in the name of Jesus. That's one thing about the, the promise of God. It will never fail. It will, yes, you know, it may tarry. But Bible says, wait for what? Wait for it. Because at the appointed time, it will surely come to pass. Number two, what you must know of what Bible describes promises of God as. Number two, it is backed by God's oath or covenant. It is backed by God's oath or covenant. You see, when he promise, he will back it with covenant. Sister Rika, can you read Hebrews chapter 6 from verse 12 to 20? Sister Rika, wait. Mr. Rikawe, Hebrew chapter 6. From verse 12. Your, your book is disturbing us. We are hearing Kuru Kuru Kuru. Hebrew 6. Yes, ma'am. But. 
that yes, ye be not that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. For when God uh -huh. made promise to Abraham, because he could swear uh -huh. by no greater, he swore by himself. Say because he could not hold on, man. hold on, man. when God promised Abraham, Mr. Abraham, look at your old age, I'm going to give you a child. And the wife said, I was even saying, Oh, oh. <laughs> me that my experience in menopause already, you are deceiving yourself because she forgot to realize menopause is not menopause. The reason they call it menopause is what because they know God can still reverse it. It's menstruation pause. And whenever you pause something, I've said it before, you can still fast forward. You can still rewind. You can do anything with it. Because the doctors, the experts, the professors, they know that God can still do something. That's why they say menopause. Menstruation pause. Continue, man. Saying, surely, blessing I will bless thee, and multiplying I will multiply thee. And so, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. For men After very... he had what? He had patiently endured. Endured. Beloved, you must have endurance. You must have endurance. Don't, don't, don't. If, if something, God promised to do something, and within one minute, you, you, you say, ah, why is it? Why is that? No, 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 no. Whenever I promise, you just wait for it. He is not a liar. He will do it. Continue, man. Verse 16. For men verily swear by the greater... And an oath for confirmation is to them an end of all strife, wherein God, willing, wherein God willing, more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the imputability of his counsel, confirmed it by an oath, that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steady, mm -hmm. and which enter mm -hmm. into that within the veil. Verse 20. Whither the forerunner is for us entered, even Jesus made an high priest forever, the order of Melchizedek. 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 Mm. Mm. That was the man that gave the title of everything to Abraham. Number three, promise of God can be described as fulfilled on schedule of God's time. Promise of God can be described as what, what can be fulfilled on schedule or God's time. Beloved, I've said a lot about myself to the people in the house. While I was going through all those things, while I was going through it, God was still promising that I'm going to do it. I'm going to give you children. I'm going to do it. But at this stage, it gave me a revelation and said to me that it's, it's not going to be my late wife. That somebody is coming to bear those children. And beloved, I've said it to people very close to me. Some geos, not Dr. Lukoya, not Dr. Lukoya. No, Dr. Luca. They asked me, say, ah, so far God has revealed to you that it is not going to be her. Why can't you go and do something at the back? And I said to them, when you are playing a football match and the referee has not blow the final whistle, if you leave the feet, you are on your own. I said, my God in heaven has not blown the final whistle. I'm not going to listen to evil cancer. I said, let me stay there. Even when they carry out the surgery, they open the head into two. I says, God, bring her back. Until the Lord said to me, say, son, it is time to let it be like that. And today, here I am with Mr. Isaac and Mr. Joshua. I'm the one asking God for them. I'm the one saying, God, I want them. Now I'm the one chasing them about now. I am praying for you. And I am praying for anybody on your loved one that is waiting upon God for the fruit of the womb. Because you are connected to this program, my God, 
that remembered me after good 15 years will remember such a person in the name of Jesus. And I pray that the God that has surprised me at the with hour shall surprise that person you are standing in God for in the name of Jesus. Beloved, he, when you talk about promises of God, he is a fulfilled. It is fulfilled on schedule of God's time. Sister Macaulay, I believe you are ready. Can you read Acts of Apostles chapter 7, verse 6? Sister Macaulay, this is a Bible study. This is not a preaching that pastor will just be talking all alone to himself. Sister Macaulay, my dear sister from Ijebu, people don't know. She's my blood sister. So if anybody harass me, she's ready to harass the person. Yes, sir. <laughs> God bless you, my sister. <laughs> Act of Apostle chapter 7, verse 6. And verse 7, 6. Yeah, Act of Apostle. 7, Act 6, seven right? Verse 6. And 7, six. This, yes, yes, this is what God said to him. Your descendant will live in a foreign country where they will be slaves and will be badly treated no, ma. for no, 400 no, no, years. No, 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 sorry, sorry. Hold on, hold on. Continue, yeah, that's it. Continue, man, yeah. Okay, I'm reading yeah, uh, the Good News Bible. Uh, it's Good News Bible, sir. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's continue, right. continue, that, that, continue. Okay. Okay, Acts of Apostle 7 says, This is what God said to him. Yeah. Your descendant will live in uh -huh. a foreign country where they will be slaves uh -huh. and will be badly treated for uh -huh. 400 years. But I will pass judgment. For, hold on, hold on, man. It's only six. Then you move to 17. Yes. Okay, sir. To, hold on. You see, all the things the Israelites passed through in the land of Egypt, it has been said before. It was God that said to them that you are going to be in bondage for 400 years. Many a time when you are going through something and God is promising you another thing and you are not thinking, ah, why is it like this? Beloved, let me tell you, many, many a time God knows about it. Except you pray and God said to you that, son, I'm not part of it. If God said, look, don't worry, I will do it. He will do it. He will do it. He will do it. Verse 17, man, because of our time. Okay, sir. 17. When the time drew near for God to keep the promise, he had made to when the time come there for God to bring to us the promise. Uh -huh. He had made to Abraham the numbers of our people uh -huh. in Egypt had grown much larger. God bless you, man. God bless you. Even in the affliction, we did the midst of the affliction, we, we did the everything. They still multiply. God still multiplied them. When you read this it says, But when the time of the promise drew near, drew near. When it was time for them to leave, because he said, look, I'm going to deliver you from the land of bondage. Beloved, I don't know what you're going through. And I don't know the cage the enemy has locked you up inside. But God of this mountain shall deliver you tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three, promises of God can be described as confirmed by Christ. Promises of God is confirmed by, by Christ. Roman 15 Verse 8. Pastor Mrs. Adeiga, are we there? Can you put on your microphone and read Roman 15, verse 8? When we finish this one, then we move to the other one so we can move very faster. I'm not going to read the Bible after we finish this section. Romans 15, verse 8. Yeah, John. Yes, sir. God bless you. Romans 15, 8. Yes, sir. I believe you are watching TV, and at the same time, you are putting on, because your, your mic is the one disturbing up. It is no, you switch up the, do you put on your TV, or you are using two, two phones? No, that's one phone, sir. Ah, maybe the, maybe the, continue, man, continue. Okay, sir. Now I say that uh -huh. Jesus Christ was the most minister mm -hmm. of the, of the... Circumcision. Circumcision of, for the truth of God to confirm uh -huh. the promises made unto the fathers. Unto the fathers. Yes, the promises are confirmed yes, by, by Christ. You see, that's the reason. When you pray that in the name of Jesus, Father, bring this to us, bring this to us, he will surely bring it to us. 
Because all the promises given to for our forefathers, we are able to receive them through Christ. Beloved, what we are enjoying now, those outside Christ are not enjoying it. They are not. They are not. Number, number five. Promise of God can be described as centered in Christ. Centered in Christ. The promise of God is what is centered in Christ. Anything you are doing as a Christian and you are not applying the name of Jesus, then you are only wasting your time. Any church you attend and they are not calling the name of Christ, then you need to wash it. Pastor Mrs. Akiemi, can you read 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20? 2 Corinthians 1 20. Second Corinthians one seventeen. One twenty, twenty, ma two zero, twenty. He said he said for all the promises of God in him are yea. And in him, amen. All the promises of God in Christ are in him are yea. That is they are yes. When the promises are in Christ, they are what they are yes. That's when you say, look, I'm going to do it. I say, Father, in the name of you, you have to be here. Yeah, yes, you will do it. Continue, man. Uh -huh. Amen. Unto the glory Continue, of God by us. Unto the Before glory the of God. The promise of God in him, are yea. And in him, amen. Unto the glory of God by us. God bless you. That's okay, man. That's okay, man. That's okay, man. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, man. God bless you. Let's read 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 1. I will read from here. It's still the same thing. I want 1 Timothy. Oh, so, sorry, sorry. 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 1. 2 Timothy. Say, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, according to the promise of life which is in Christ Jesus. According to the promise of life, which is in Christ, all the promises are centered in Christ. That's why the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. You can receive all the promises through Christ that strengthen you. Number six. Number six. Promise of God can be described as kept by faith. It's kept by what? By faith. Is kept by faith. If you want to receive the promise of God, you must have faith. You can't receive anything. Bible says a man with double heart cannot receive anything from God. Let's go to the Bible. Romans, I'll be reading from here because of our time. Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4. I'll be reading verse 20 and 21. Romans chapter 4. 20 and 21. See, it's taken off at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Beloved, you can put down your microphone because I want to ask questions. For those of us that are still in our family house, because there's nothing we can do. We cannot do without mentioning mountain of fire. There's nothing. Because the man standing here, actually I came from another, uh, another church to Mount of Fire. When I moved from Nigeria, I was an assistant general officer in Nigeria. I got here and moved to CAC. They were about to ordain me, but what they were doing was not in line with what I've received. Then I moved to Mount of Fire. By his grace, I spent nothing less than 10 years in Mountain of Fire. And many of the pastors there, whenever they say, they say, you, you are not part of us. You are only here to, to maybe to learn some things. Yes, which I learned some things. I learned even not some, a lot of things. So, those of us in our family house and those of us in Fire of Christ Ministry, beloved, during the time that your humble servant was passing through, did you know anything about it? No, no sir. I'm asking questions. Put on your microphone and answer me. Since that no, way, did you know anything? No, sir. Yeah, my colleague, did I tell you anything? But many a times, we will move from the hospital to the church. There was a particular day 
our late sister was going out and she fell at Stratford Station. It was by divine grace of God that train did not kill her. I did not tell anybody. And the person will still come to church and the singer will jump in and they do everything. So when she passed away, people started talking, ah, it was him that killed him. Oh, hey, it was this, it was that. Because in all the affliction, I was still holding on there, and she too was still holding on there, and we are praising God. It was not easy. We were going through hell, going through fire. Many times people will see her vomiting in the church, and they will say, hey, thank God, oh, hey, auntie's pregnant, oh, auntie's pregnant, oh. No. I'm talking about menstruation that somebody will be having, and she will not be able to put water on the gas, or on the cooker. The thing that she will be going to, the drug they ask her to be taking for four hours, you'll be taking some time, one, one hour or two, two hours. And the more you take all this deadly drug, the more they damage your kidney and damage your liver. I'm talking about pain that somebody will be, if we want to go for a month, play something, and she will be using drug a week or two weeks before the time. I'm talking of pain that when you see blood, blood will be coming out like water. When my younger sister came for the first time to the United Kingdom, and it was time for the late woman to engage in a monthly flow, and she saw it. That was when I saw somebody eating her head on the wall. Say, ah, 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 ah. Somebody is passing through this, and you're not telling anybody. I said, because you are not God, and there's nothing you can do. If you have a miracle to perform, perform it and let me see. What am I talking about? But okay, even in all this, I was still there, standing in faith. Was I not praying for you? Can you release your microphone? My people, was it I was not praying sir. for you? you were, yes, sir. Were you, not receiving your miracle? were you not receiving your miracle? Yes, sir. Well, and I was passing through it. Did I tell you anything? No. 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 But I would say by two, by the matter of two or three, you will confirm the truth. Mm -hmm. are, they, they, they are watching us all over the world. We are standing and be lying now. That can, Romans chapter 4. You can switch up your microphone. I will read verse 20 and 21. He said, He staggered off at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Verse 21. And being fully persuaded that when He had promised, he was able also to perform. Can you underline verse 21? I love that place very much. When he promised, he is able to perform. He is able. And that's the reason I love that song. Many of you don't know the reason I always sing that song. He is able, abundantly able to deliver. And to say, he is able, to believe and those who trust him. Under that place, they pick us up from that place. He's able. If you trust in him, he's able to do it. And here I am today. Mommy Joe is ready now. I'm the one that is not ready. If I say it's time for... Uh, yeah, Ibeji you now. She's ready. But let me finish with this one first. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> Even my mother is like, say, Baba, Baba is sick. Ah, we need a gay. Even Yama Kali, everybody is asking for a gay. Don't worry, I will give you one very soon. Yeah, but you, you must be ready. Say, be back up. <laughs> well, you know, it's not easy. Yeah, we need to share the responsibility together. If you promise to, to help me, and then I will do it. It's not money, it's not food now. But you know what it takes. Yarika, we can tell you. Sometimes one will be crying here because the baby will be disturbing you. <laughs> Many of them, Mommy Joe will be telling me, I'll be working, I can't see the money. I say, won't you pay the mind now? <laughs> God will help us in Jesus' name. God will help us in Jesus' name. And you can also write Hebrew 11, 13 to 40. Uh, Hebrews chapter 11, 13 to 40, because of the time we're not going to read that. Number nine, number, sorry, number seven, number seven. Promise of God can be described as exceedingly great. It's exceedingly great. It's exceedingly great. 
Second Peter. Yeah, Sister Viola Balogo from Lagos. Are you there? Sister Viola Balogo, can you read Second Peter? Chapter one. Second Peter. If you are Second Peter chapter one verse four. Chapter one verse four. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. Exceedingly great and precious. The promises of God are exceedingly great when He said, I'm going to do it. Beloved, let me tell you something. When the woman passed away, people began to talk, ah, no, no, no. It was Him. It was Him. Because He realized He could not. He could not impregnate a woman. That's the reason he killed, he killed a lot of rubbish, a lot of story. So by the time Isaac appeared, beloved, if you have seen Isaac before, do you need anybody to, to tell you that this is a pastor's son? Huh? No. <laughs> you no. can put on your microphone and answer me. No. Do you need anybody to say this is Pastor Edison? No. Even the first one, uh huh. The first one appeared. They began another story. Hey, it was not him. Maybe somebody helped him to impregnate the wife. And when Joshua came again, that was what silenced some of them. And many of them, I'm praying for them. I'm praying for them. I don't know why people are so wicked. God will have mercy on them. Amen. God will have mercy. The promises of God is precious and exceedingly great. And number nine, number nine. Oh, sorry, number eight. Promise of God can be described as not slow. It is not slow. When God promised, you know, it is not slow. Second Peter also. Sister Bedu, are you there? Daughter, daughter, daughter of a prophet. Sister yes, Bedu. Yes, God bless you. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 4 to 13. Quickly. We are not going to read any Bible after this so that we can pray. We still have a lot to treat, but then. I'm going to rush those ones. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 4 to 13. If you are not able to read everything, just write it down. Second Peter 3 from verse 4. Continue, ma'am. I'm saying, where is the coming of this coming? For to the Father, uh -huh. all things continue uh -huh. as the of the creation. For this they will be uh -huh. and that by the word of God, the heaven where of all uh -huh. Out of the water and in the water. Uh -huh. Overflow with water. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. when you get home, go and read this place very well. That place is talking about what is happening now. Because they, 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 they believe that this, they, 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 the mercy of God, the grace of God is slackness. And they are just treating God anyhow. And that's the reason all this thing is happening. That is not slow. If you want, now you can see what is happening now. Many pastors are now, they are complaining. They are saying this, they are saying that. And God said he's not ready to let go now. What can we do? All the scientists now, they don't, even our prime minister here now is not even talking to scientists again. He's taking the own, he's taking the book by the own now. He doesn't care again. Continue, God bless you, man. That's seven. But the only time he went, uh -huh. he can, and the same one has said to show. We start on fire again mm -hmm. of judgment and perdition of uh -huh. For the Lord, the mm -hmm. Lord is there for this one. Uh -huh. That one day, uh -huh. the Lord, at a thousand years. One day, one day with the Lord, one day is as a thousand years. Uh -huh. A thousand years at one Continue. day. The Lord is not uh -huh. for me. As for me, He's not slack on any of his promises, so. Uh huh. But it's long suffering. Continue. So always uh -huh. not than that any should perish, but that all should come mm -hmm. to repentance. Mm hmm. But the day Continue. To faster, to faster, Tima. But the day of the Lord will come, as they keep in the mm -hmm. night, uh -huh. the earth will pass away. Uh-huh. 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 U
somebody it will still give you grace and i'm praying for you that if you are part of those that have been overstretching grace because that is what is disturbing our generation now that is what is disturbing the whole world because we have overstretched the grace of god and we are paying for it now all of us online are we not christian are we not children of god now see what is happening we are all sitting down at home now they ask people to go to work the people that are saying hey, we are ready to go out we are ready to do it that they won't now complain that unless they are sure Assure us that nothing will happen to us. Who can assure you that nothing will happen to you? Can any government assure anybody? Can anybody tell you that go, nothing will happen? It is only God. And we that have the faith, we that have the God of Goshen on our side, we'll be going out. I was uh, I parked my car outside, I was outside to pick somebody, and some someone was just coming. He ran away, he quickly put put our mask on. Now came to me when he put on the mask. He said, Sorry, I'm going to my mom. I'm going to my mom, but the way the thing is flying everywhere. It's all, sorry, people are now running away from me. I said, that's your problem. God bless you. Now they ask us to go to work. We are not ready to go. Before we are complaining, they lock us down. They lock us in. They lock us in, uh, up. Go out now. People say they are not going again. Then how long are we going to continue doing this? We are looking about, is a God of promise for female. Is a God. And when you look at it, what is our theme for this year? Say, this is our year of divine recovery and what? Fulfillment. Uh, we've discussed this before. We, love we rush this so that we can have time to pray. We need to pray some prayers. We need to pray some prayers. What is fulfillment? I'm not going to mention the Bible again because what, what is fulfillment? Number one, we have this in our book, some of us, but for the benefit of those that are joining us online, say a feeling of satisfaction at having achieved your desires. A feeling of satisfaction at having achieved your desire. Number two, what is fulfillment? Receiving answers to your prayers. Fulfillment is receiving answers to your prayers. Number three, what is fulfillment? Fulfillment is having godly joy in your heart. Beloved, money does not make one happy. Wealth does not make one happy. Wife does not make one happy. Even husband does not make you happy. Some of us, <laughs> people will look at us when we dress and we are going up. People say, ah, they are enjoying. But what we are going through underneath our roof, we cannot tell anybody. Yes, for women is having godly joy in your heart. But Bible says, according to Isaiah chapter 12, verse 3, that with joy shall ye draw water from the well of salvation. The reason some people are not enjoying the presence of God is because they are not happy. And because if you don't have the joy from inside, it's a lie. That's why you see people, they will dress up, and when you sit them down and you listen to them, you will know many of them are miserable people. May you not be a miserable person in the name of Jesus. What is fulfillment? fulfillment? Number four, ability to satisfy heaven. Ability to satisfy heaven. That is fulfillment. Because, beloved, when you are doing what heaven asks you to do, you will, have, you will be happy. Beloved, if I don't have money and I'm doing what I'm doing now, I'm happy. I can, I can challenge anybody. Anybody online. Have I ever disturbed anybody for money? I don't do it. But I'm happy. Some people will ask me, say, Pastor, it is too much. You don't sleep. You attend to a lot of things. Many times you will think I'm sleeping. That is the time people from America, Canada, mommy, are you not online? Sometimes we talk two hours. You can see mommy, the one sitting down in purple. Sometimes two hours, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., we'll be talking because she's a mother to me. You know, I have a lot of mothers. All of them are praying for me. The, that's the reason you don't know the, the, the secret behind my sources. I have a lot of mothers. They are all praying for me. I will call and we'll be discussing, discussing, discussing. And you'll be thinking, I'm, I'm, sometimes I don't sleep more than two hours. The, and the joy will be pushing me to be doing it. I'm so happy. It is no money. Money doesn't give you happiness. Go and check the life of all these billionaires. Many of them are not happy when you are fulfilled in the Lord. That's the reason I can leave anything. Many of the the job I'm doing, I'll be talking to people. I say, if you're, if you're not okay, go, I'm the one that owns my business. I will not disturb you, but don't disturb me. If you, are, if you can be discussing and be saying rubbish in my car, I'm allowed to, to pray for people. Yeah, 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 don't call me. What is fulfillment? Number five, experiencing divine peace and comfort. 
experiencing divine peace and comfort. You can write something that is good so that you have your record. But thank God we are going to, before the end of today, you are going to have this online. What is fulfillment? Number six, the act of bringing to completion or fruition. The act of bringing to completion or fruition. What is fulfillment, beloved? Accomplishing your set target or goal. Fulfillment is accomplish your set target or goal. When you say something and you pray, say, Father, do you want me to go ahead? I say, go ahead. By the time you accomplish that thing, you will be fulfilled. Except the hand of God is not in it. What is fulfillment? Number eight is to be experiencing lifting up where others are cast down. Job 28, verse 29. Job 22, sorry, Job 22, verse 29. Bible says, when others are cast down, we shall be saying there's a lifting up for us. When others are running from COVID-19, we are still bouncing in the law. We are still dancing. We are still working. Yes, we are still working. What is fulfillment? It's a feeling of happiness and satisfaction. It's a feeling of happiness and satisfaction. Areas we need fulfillment. The areas we need fulfillment. Number one, in our spiritual assignment, beloved, more than anything, if you are online now, and you are connected to this program, beloved. In that your spiritual assignment, if you are not fulfilled, then you are heading towards the destruction. A woman called me last night, but before she called, a friend of mine was telling me that somebody is about to travel to Canada. Pray, did, 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 uh, appear to a well-known person, which I'm not going to mention it now. And it now said, if you can help me get a connection, that somebody can help the boy to get. An admission to go to Canada. But the most important one, help me pray. As I prayed, and the Lord said, if the boy should go there, they will carry his cup back to Nigeria and everything will turn upside down. And I told my friend, and the friend went, that friend went to the father, and the father said, the, What the man said, it is nothing but the truth. That the most senior prophet in CSC, I've said it before. And the mother now called me yesterday, that is where I'm going. And I began to pray. At the time, God said, stop. Then I said to her, I said, now you are an Elijah. She said, yes. Married to an Elijah, she said, yes. But do you know you have, you have got a calling? She said, yes, I know. And you left the calling of God. He said, the man will not allow me to go to, to go and do the job. And the Lord said, I should tell her that all herself, she return back to the assignment. That enemy will continue to harass her and harass her children. That case is not taken. Her enemy will bury her children. That she stop praying and she confirmed all I said to her. I was sitting there in the car and I was telling her everything. Beloved, the first area you need fulfillment is your spiritual assignment. Whatever God has called you to do in the household of faith, you better start doing it. Because if you are not fulfilled in that area, you cannot be fulfilled in any other area. You cannot. You cannot. There is nothing. If I've had any quarrel with my wife, 99% is because of God. Because I will not joke with anything that has to do with God. I don't play. No matter how close you are to me, if you dare do something that is against God, then we are going to fight immediately. Or that is affecting the job of God. I don't use that one to play. If you want to be satisfied in life, the first thing is to locate in your spiritual assignment and be fulfilled in that area. Every other thing will now fall into places. He said, seek ye the kingdom of God first. And every, word, every other thing shall be added unto it. You are called to be an usher. You are not doing anything. You are sitting there. You are called. I'm not asking you to come and join the FFCM now. I'm not doing that. Wherever you are, go and do the job God asks you to do. I prefer talking to you online like this. If God asks you to give us, give us. If you don't want to give us, don't give us. Don't give us. We have more than enough. So that you don't say because they are asking for money. No, we are not asking for money. Go and do the assignment. In that your church, go and do it so that you can be fulfilled in life. Number two, area you need fulfillment in your career. You need fulfillment in your career. Any job you are doing, you are not happy, it's not your job. Many of us have said it before. All the job we are doing in the United Kingdom, we are not happy. We only doing it to pay bills. And if we continue like that, many will die unfulfilled. Many will die in what? In sorrow. Because when you are not happy with what you are doing, you are doing it. And you are doing it. You need to locate yourself. Go and start that small thing. If God asks you to study, go and start it. And you will see God multiplying it. But we are too afraid to take a step of faith, a bold step of faith. You are too afraid. And we say, ah, 
hey, what will happen? You take this step and see if God will not back you up. Except he did not ask you to go. When he asks you to go, he will be there before you. And that's the reason they call, call him Aaron Ibadi, you know? When he asks you to go, he's already waiting for you at the bus stop. Why are you still dressing up? He's already waiting for you. He's already waiting for you. Number three, where we need fulfillment in our marriage, many of us, we've missed it already. But for our children, we need to pray for them so that they don't miss it like us. And many have missed it already. Many of us, we got married to our enemy. And that man, that woman turned to a serpent, biting you. Because it's not the right person for you. If it's the right person, there won't be any problem. But what can you do now? But Bible says, a man shall leave his friend. The woman shall leave her home and they will marry together. And you are now a husband to a wish. Automatically, you're a wizard. Amen. You marry, you've got married to a wizard. Then you too, you're a wish. If you can't pray very well. Where we need fulfillment again in our finances, we need fulfillment. And the last one, in our Christian life. Spiritual assignment is different from your Christian life. If you are going to a church, I said something to you about four weeks ago. A woman has been attending a church for almost 30 years. And God has her to live more than 30 years. And she's still there. And they've turned her life upside down. If the church you are going is not the right one for you, live there. Many of us will be telling stories. We started together. We are going to die here together. We think, what, what do you start together? They will only turn your life upside down. And let me say to you, if you have to you, you have to go in your memo, in your memo. The worst battle is the battle in the household of faith. They can, it can destroy anybody. If God asks you to leave, leave. Forget about the name. God is everywhere. Are we not, are we not all over the world now? Fire of faith Christ is all over the world. We have people in Canada, Americans who are sitting down here. People from everywhere. And are we not talking to each other? People that, many of them that are saying they must go back there. Some of them are very to Jew. That's the reason they want people to come back. Because if they don't come to that place, you do will not work. And God has cash on with them now. The Jew is demanding for blood. What you must know about fulfillment. Let me rush it quickly. What you must know, we are talking about God of Goshen is a God of promise fulfillment. What you must know about number one, it increases one's joy. When you are fulfilled, you, your joy will be increased. You will be happy. Sometimes I sleep one hour and I will, and I will wake up, I'll be happy. Because I'm fulfilled doing what I'm doing. I'm not doing it for money. When you are doing something, beloved, if you are not expecting anything from somebody, you cannot be disappointed. Amen. If you are not expecting anything, you are not expecting anything from me. If I just come and I give you something, you will be fulfilled. But when you are expecting, say, I know when Pastor Yemi comes, he's going to give me yeah, 1,000 pounds. And I appear from nowhere, I count 1,000 and I give you. To say thank you will not become a problem. Because you are expecting something. But you are not expecting no so, Beloved, fulfillment increases one's joy. Number two, it makes one to go extra mile. When you are doing the right thing and you are fulfilled, you will be happy. You will be ready to go extra mile. The reason your boss asks you to go and bring the fire, the fire is supposed to take you two minutes. Ten minutes, they did not see you. You will first go to the toilet. From there, you go and smoke cigarettes. See, when you call yourself a Christian, I need to, I need to calm my, my nerve down. If that job is not your job. If it's your job, before they ask you for the fire, the fire is already on the table. Before they ask you to type something, you've done it already. But when the thing are not serious, you'll just be wasting time. Number three, what you must know about fulfillment, it will attract people to you. When you are fulfilled as a person, people will be attracted to you. you. They will come to you. They will come. Number four, only in God can one find fulfillment. Only in God you can find fulfillment though. You cannot find it in any pastor. You cannot find it in any Jew. It's because you are not close to many of us. That's the reason you are thinking, ah, if I meet that pastor and my problem is some, uh, it is only God that can, that can, that can bring fulfillment. That song in Yoruba language by that popular singer say, Olorun lo le funi la yo, eni o le funi la yo kope, bo pe titi yo akolo la pe baba, oba oke lo la yo pupo lodo, funi la yo. It's only God that can give you fulfillment. 
And when you look at Fumilayo and Fufume, they look alike. Uh, they look alike. You can call them the same thing. Fumilayo and Fufume. Amen. If they are the same thing. Uh, they, they borrow the they borrow Fufume from Fumilayo. Number six. What you must know about Fufume? To be more fulfilled, your actions and acti activities needs to be in alignment with vision of heaven for you. To be more fulfilled, your actions, your activities need to be in alignment with the vision of heaven for your life. If you want to be fulfilled, and all you are doing must be. You see, I said it last week, we are not in a race with any, any ministry. We are not in competition with any ministry. We've been staying where we are, Gegele. And now God is launching us. And people have to say, ah, when did they start? We started a long time ago, but then we are just we are, we are where we are God put us. Many times we say, ah, it's not no, 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 no. When it's time for God today, all else we see this church. And I'm praying for you. When the glory of God is manifesting in this church, your own glory too will manifest in the name of Jesus. And I'm praying for everyone that has been connecting to this. I'm praying for you every day. I'm not asking you to leave your church. That's the reason we are planning. You can see we will form a group. Some people are leaving. Don't worry. Some, it is not more their number. Some, uh, they don't want to say another face. Beloved, they, they, somebody said to me, I need to consult people. I've got almost 1,500 on my phone. Will I be sending one more message to everybody? Say, do you want to join? Do you want to join? The advice is very good. But how will I do that? If you're not okay with it, you can leave, no problem. But thank God, we still have over 100 people on that platform. And I have over 1,400 contacts on my phone. I did not add some people so that they know that they want to take them out of their church. But those that are my family, those are my friends. I've added them and I still have some people I'm still going to add. And very soon, we are starting our prayer line. And we are going to have a group for that one. This is just for information, which is hours of his faithfulness. That one is going to, it's going to be one hour. So when you receive back to your church, we are still going to be missing. So that you are still going to be enjoying what you are enjoying. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. What are the signs of fulfillment? I want to bring it to an so that we can pray. What are the signs of fulfillment? Number one, you will have peace of mind. You will have peace of mind. You have peace of mind. You can see, yeah, John, the way she's sitting on there, you will know my pastor is making her to be happy. Because the way she sits like, eh, she's laughing. <laughs> There's peace of mind. Nothing, nothing shakes the yard, John. God bless you. Number two, signs of fulfillment. Unending joy. May the Lord grant you unending joy. You know that we say God of Goshen. We are talking about let God of Goshen arise. He's a God of promise fulfillment. Wherever you are, bow down your head and you will pray for yourself. Like before we go into general prayer, say, Father, if I'm the reason behind my own fulfillment, have mercy. Pray for yourself. You want to go and pray now. Even the reason, behind the reason I'm not fulfilled, have mercy. Because if God asks you to go to location A, and you say you are going to be in location B, you are the one causing it, it's not God. You are bound to struggle if you are doing what God did not ask you to do. You are bound to, to suffer losses if God, you are doing what God did not ask you to do. Talk to him now. Talk to him. The Father, have mercy. Have mercy. In Jesus' name, we pray. Beloved, let's rise up on our feet as you put on your microphone. Yes. Within the next seven minutes, we want to pray some prayers. We want to pray. If you are using two gadgets, kindly put off one, please. We want to pray some prayer now. We are talking about God of Goshen, and we say it's a God of promise of prayer. Where your promises for my life bring you to pass. Bring you to pass. In the name of Jesus. 
Amen. Talk to him, beloved. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Yeah, tell him. The God of this mountain will do it, and you will return with your testimony. You shall be fulfilled. It is time for you to be fulfilled. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. I pray for you. The after tonight's program, you will have testimonies. Amen. The God of Goshen will arise and bring to pass all his promises concerning you also in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any power or any personality that needs to be buried for your head to be lifted up and for your testimony and promises to appear today, they shall be buried today in the name of Jesus. Amen. All the promises of God for you and your household shall come to pass. Amen. Amen. I pray concerning the offering and the you want to give to the Lord, God will accept it. Amen. God will multiply it. Amen. And God will return it back to you in million food. Amen. Amen. And you shall not lack any good things. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. You can put it in the envelope. You've been keeping your money. Make sure when your church resumes, we're going to give it to your church. Uh, we'll be announcing. If you don't have, don't worry. If you are led to give to this church, God bless you. And we said it on Sunday. If anyone from Nigeria needs data, somebody volunteer to be giving data to people. If anybody wants to be joining this program, and they are complaining about data. We have people that is ready to be supplying them data. But they must not collect the data and go and use it and be washing Hollywood. They must use it to wash, <laughs> to connect to the church of God. And by his grace, that special night, if Jesus Christ is coming, is this Friday, night of all possibility. It's going to be between the hours of 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. Beloved, make it a day with God. It's only three hours. God has been playing wonders to that program. And this Friday will not be an exception. He's the one that has us to be doing it. And since you have been doing it, he has been performing wonders. Join us on Friday, and God will bless you. And our next Sunday service is at 9.30 on Sunday. 9.30 to 12.15. But we start at 9.15 to pray for the church of God. And God will bless you as you join all this program. As you go, God will bless you. You shall not be well with you. You shall not bury your wife. You shall not bury your children. You shall not bury your husband. No member of your house shall be partake of coronavirus. The God of this mountain will protect you. As you continue to read some 19, as I won't wait for 17, this sounds will be working for you like fire. And as you are using this sound and you are progressing it to what you are using need to bath, and you are drinking it, it shall work for you. No you shall come to the dwelling and cover you with the blood of Jesus. By the time we shall meet again, you shall have testimony. Thanks to Father. Unto you be the glory. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Let's share the grace of the you, beloved. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the spirit of the Holy Spirit, and the Lord, goodness and mercy upon us, all the days of our life, and we shall be on the death of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's confess our own one, 8 verse 73 times. Let's go. I shall not die, but live. I shall not die, but live. I shall not die, but live.